Hello and as always thank you for watching. In this video we're going to continue on with field management of the Community Builder platform. Um, how you get there is you mouse over components, assuming you're in your back end, go over Community Builder and down to Field Management and when you do that you're going to end up where we just were. Uh, in the previous video we, we talked about how to understand this grid and what each column is for and that each row basically represents a field of information. Um, and these columns here determine how that behaves. So um, for this example that we're going with here, I'm wanting to add another field, okay, this is why we're in our field management, another field of information to this form here. And for this example, I'm just going to assume that I've got a company directory I'm trying to build, and I want to identify different departments for employees, okay. So to start making a new field, you just click on new field. And when you do, you get this interface, which is going to be the same for everything. The first one here is type, and this is very important because this is how the field is going to be validated and what it can do. Okay, you've got checkbox single, checkbox multiple. Is it a date? Meaning that the, when the user enters information into that field, it has to be a date. Is it a text area, a text field, integer number? That would basically be used for if you. Uh, were uh, requiring a phone number, just make it a text, or I mean a, an integer. But in this example, I'm going to select drop down single select, okay? And in my different selections, I'm going to identify the different departments. Now, if you had a business model where a employee could be part of two departments at one time, you would want to select drop down multi select, so that way they could identify themselves as belonging to the appropriate departments. Uh, the tab, we're going to get into this later, but basically this is uh, referring to an uh, area of information on the user profile when it's viewed by users and yourself on the front end of your website. This is the back end, the front end is what, what everybody else sees. Right now we're just going to leave that in contact info and this will come into light a little bit later. And here in the name, um, this is what we are going to call the field or the actual blank space itself and this is primarily used for database purposes so um, go ahead and type in what you want to call it I'm going to say department and you'll notice when you tab to the next field it automatically for you puts this prefix in here to and it does that let it do that don't change that because that uh, is done by community builder to make a new uh, database entry or record or row and then we're going to make the title of this what, it, what is shown on the front end. We're going to call that department. And this description box here, I'm just going to say, please select your department. Whatever is typed in here is what is seen in this blue box when the user mouses over and gets information. So just know that that's what this area is for. And you've got some other questions to answer. Um, do you want this to be a pre-filled value at registration only, meaning do you want something to already be in place of that? If you don't, just leave it blank. Is it required? I'm going to say yes, it is, because just assuming my business model, you gotta, i got to know your department, let's say. Um, show on profile. Um, you've got three options here. No, yes on one line, or yes on two lines. So I'm going to leave it yes on one line. That sounds good. Uh, display field in profile or the field title. I'm going to select yes because I want the word department up here to be displayed on the user's profile so that the following answer of what department they're in will make sense. Uh, searchable in user lists. We can't change that right now but we will be able to here in a second. Uh, user read only, yes or no meaning is this something that only the user can see? Uh, show at registration. We have to select this to yes, so it will show up here in this form. So make sure that's yes. Published, yes, that also makes sure it shows up in that form. And the size, I'm just going to say 20 right now. And the name, this is where we get to add the different departments or the different options or values, okay? So I'm just going to make up three departments. I'm going to call one... Uh, accounting alright I'm gonna hit add value I'm gonna call another land I'm gonna call another one here operations and you'll notice that you got these blue arrows here and this just allows you to very conveniently change the order of how these are so if you've made like a huge list 
then it's really easy because it, if you've made a huge list and you would need to rearrange it or make one go above the other, it's really easy to just drag and drop it to where you want it to go. So these are going to be my three options. And in this particular type drop down, there aren't any other parameters. That will change depending on which one you actually select. Uh, but for this example, we're creating a field that gives the user different options to select which department they're from, assuming they're an employee or something. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And I want to go ahead and go back and address this question that wouldn't let me earlier, searchable in users lists. I'm going to select yes because I might want other users or other, uh, I'm sorry, other members, meaning other employees, to find this person through their department, or maybe I want users to find this person through their department. So I'm going to make that a searchable feature. I'm going to hit apply. Now, to see this in action, let's go back to the front end and let's refresh the page. And when we do, there is my new field, department, and look at that. There are my different options. Now, clearly, I have made my box entirely too long. So to change that, I'll go to size, and I'll just say, I'll say 10. And hit apply and see what that does. Let's shorten it up a bit. I need to go a little bit more, uh, smaller. I'm just going to say three. Go ahead and apply. Refresh the site. And that looks nice and convenient. Obviously if there's more options or the box is smaller then this scroll bar activates and it'll allow you to uh, or the drop down bar will allow you to see the different options here. So I just added a new field and I have made it required. This field is required and it will show up on their profile because that's what this little icon is and when they mouse over it there's my description please select your department and now when they hit register when it enters that user record it's going to show up under user management and in their profile is going to be that additional field and remember we said it was under contact info don't know if you remember that but now all of a sudden I have a new field in here department. And for me it wasn't checked because this profile was actually generated before that field was. So that brings up an important point that I'll just point out right now. You want to make sure that you have all the fields that you want up front because it makes for a big hassle if you've got a bunch of users, let's say a thousand users, and then all of a sudden you want to add a new piece of information to get from every user after that. Well, obviously once you add that field, all the users created and user records created before the addition of that field, um, they're not going to have that information filled out or selected. So I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm a part of the accounting department and hit save. But it's important to understand that as you add fields, okay, it's going to add them here depending on your parameters you set for it, if it's visible or not. And it's also going to add it under the user record itself in the user manager. In the user record, it's also going to add it in the area that you tell it to. So in this area, for in this example, we told it to show in the contact info. And there it is at the bottom. So I'm going to leave it at that. Obviously, you can see the potential of this. You can create fields uh, for you know, an address, a phone number. You can have drop-down boxes, yes or no questions, check boxes. You can have them all through that type. Going back to Field Manager, when you make a new field, the type of information is very important to think about and um, map out as to what you're wanting to accomplish with your users and how you're going to gather that information and what type of information it is. So obviously a phone number would be an integer. Um, maybe you want a text area, which is clearly one of the types, text area right there. And that's going to allow a large box for them to type in maybe a custom message or something like that. So as you can see, very, very powerful, very flexible. This just brushed how to create new fields, okay? And what we're going to do next, or in the next couple videos, is talk about um, the tab management 
and how those fields are organized in certain sections of the user profile. And then later on, we're going to talk about looking at profiles um, and interacting with them more on the front end. You've got to understand we're still in the back end of getting things set up and configured to the way you want it for your business model. So anyway, I hope this is a help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.